Hey, today I'm here with my mommy that she wanted to have what today? Wonderful uh, violet color of my eyes because you made me a wonderful jacket two years ago and I would like to have it on me with so, a violet so color. So she would <laughs> like to wear that violet jacket yes. and uh, therefore I show you how to apply color on uh, my mum. Most of the time when you get older your skin gets quite dry. Close it. So because I'll be applying color here an eyeshadow, I need to moisture this area somehow and also prepare it. Therefore I'm applying two chiclets on it and number one. And I won't need to set it up with a loose powder because this is how I would dry the eyes too much. But with this I give them just the right moisture. So I rub this in with my finger and the eyes are already set to apply makeup over. Of course the brighter this area is the better because this is what will lift the eyes and especially for my mum because she's wearing glasses this will make her eyes look bigger. I will show you a very easy technique how to use purple. So this is violet actually really really dark purple yeah. Um, I put my brush in and I go over the eyelid but just here on the outer part so I make this triangle here look I tap it in like this and I just make this triangle that goes here and we need to lift this part of an eye up so I just go open the eye you see where, where the lead breaks close it and I go a bit over the top because this is what we lift the eye here so like this I just make a triangle yeah brush it in don't forget to lift your eye a bit and put it here towards the eyelashes ta -da, like this open now I take a lighter eyeshadow this is like pinkish beige close it and I apply it here in the teardrop ways this is an eye color that is a bit more shimmery so I apply it here I want this part to shine to stand out right it's still a very hard line but you see what I do now I take my MAC 217 brush I go like this is a clean brush I just go over this edge that I made I brush it together with what I applied there brush it over 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 and just brush it on this part of an eye on a brow bone actually and you just rub the brush in look how it slides it makes a lovely gradient everything gets together everything makes sense now my mum has quite a dark skin so if I would go too light with the foundation it would turn grey whereas skin here is darker than skin here like the neck and decollete is quite white yeah so it mustn't be awkward but if I go with the shade that is too light it turns grey therefore I'm applying a B50 foundation I started using this Tintouche Eclat just extensively because it's an amazing foundation and the main thing about this skin now is that it will get really radiant because of that and especially when you're older and your skin is quite dry you need to give radiancy to the skin you need to give it a glow you need to moisturize it I see just too many women like 50 plus years of age or also 40 look up mum up <laughs> uh, that are wearing far too much powder on, a or on their faces and it makes it just cakey it makes it old 
you need to give this moisture to the skin and you feel far better so this foundation has dry oils in it and when this oils will evaporate uh, your skin will feel far better very very light or just look up or just use BB creams you know BB creams are very very good solution especially for women that get to a certain age now this is a very important part look up we need to give radiancy to the face I told you a few few times therefore this two shekla under the eyes will make everything just shine we need to lift the face therefore two shekla here and it won't go in a crease also you don't need to powder it you just put it on this is it here it's a number one I'm using because it's a highlighter if you have darker under eye circles maybe you use a number two or maybe a number three which is already quite dark so I'm tapping it in tap 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 and this is it now I want to lift this part here also because this will make like a natural lifting to the face yeah if this part sparkles I think you, you'll see already on a camera don't like, I see lots of women applying shimmer powder here because they think that it will lift it up the shimmer powder will look just it will go in a crease whereas this one is moisture and it just gives you a nice radiancy to the face I make the eye more glamorous and because she's wearing glasses this will be a nice trick to open up the eye to make it look bigger look up so I'm applying the same eyeshadow as I applied on the upper part close it here also so just connect these angles from the lower part to the upper one here look up this will just give an eye a definition rub it in smudge it and you already see how it makes an eye a bit more glamorous it pulls it down it tones it down it's not such a cat eye same here look up on this part of her face like makeup usually is um, quite the same you know like there's a procedure how you do it close it that is quite similar to everything I mean like when you're applying eye makeup look up there are basically three different techniques for the eyes and then it's just variation and the usage of colors that changes everything but this is it now to really open up the eye you've seen this trick loads of times look up I'm applying Guerlain's eye pencil in the waterline and I hope my mom won't cry too much but this is what opens the eye a lot and then when you're applying a mascara I could go with burgundy mascara but I don't have it so I'll apply brown because look down she she's quite dark she can totally have black mascara on her eyes but I think black when you're a bit older is just too much it's a little bit too much because it makes it heavy Do you know the application needs to be quite light so basically I mean also because also because she wanted to have purple violet eyes I went with not such an intense application as I would for example use on some teenager where I would go totally black we need to make lips as light as possible though with the definition because the older you get the more the creases here so the lips lose a the definition therefore I go over with a pink pencil and I try to make lips look a bit bigger so here's the line bigger bigger here this is a lip that pink lip pencil I don't try to make a very sharp edge I mean I could I could make it with a bit darker pencil 
but because the whole concentration is on the eyes I don't want to put it on the lips anyway I just want to make lips uh, look moisturized and a bit bigger therefore I go over with the lip gloss now I'll apply just a pinky lip gloss on her mouth because I want to moisturize lips that they won't look that creased and if it's a lip gloss over because it shines a bit the creases don't show that much and the lips will look really fresh now though don't worry about that pinkish color because it won't be that pink when when the lipstick sinks in Ta-da! this is my mum in a jacket my I'm, wonderful jacket I made for her Hot, for, for the winter yeah I said just we do it a bit more old school and the makeup as you see is quite strong but because she's wearing glasses it just shows nicely that put your head more down yeah, that you're not yeah lovely you see the main thing also is how you have your eyebrows shaped she has a natural shape that pulls an eye up but most of the time it's just this is a very important part if you get eyebrows right your whole face looks lifted and don't forget about the radiance here. Like, this is the most important thing when you do makeup. I think for all the women that are above 30 or maybe already 25, is a makeup that gives you a bit of a glow on the skin. Just don't put powder all over. We use powder when we do fashion video to do, I mean, fashion shoots and stuff. Though not for real life, yeah? Do you have anything to say? No, I uh, just feel gorgeous. Thank cool. you. Pleasure. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.